Hey, hey, Phil's the Phoenix Moto Vlogs. I just got a brand new Tecancha P3 brake controller for the Frontier. Our new summer. Let's check it out as we uh, as I do the unboxing. That in the box you get the generic cable I do have the custom cable for the Nissan Frontier it's on order it's gonna be getting here later today but we're leaving tomorrow morning so I need to have this thing installed so I'm actually gonna do the install minus this part and then just do the plug-in when it gets here you got the mounting bracket you get a little baby mounting bracket and that's probably the one I'm going to be using you get a bag of six mounting screws that two go for the mounting bracket and then two go for attaching the mount to here I'm not sure where the other two go to uh, it's got two different style mounting brackets, and I, I kind of like this one for a couple of reasons. That it's a little bit smaller, and it easily, de way easily detaches. So this is more than likely the, the mount that I'm going to wind up using. And that way when it's not in use or, or, or I just don't want it in there, I can pull it out. Uh, with the way people steal things today. Yeah, that it may not be a bad thing But come out with the truck and watch All right now I was cautioned in the uh, Instructions very adamantly that this is supposed to be level as long as it's level it works in any vertical position so I'm actually gonna break out a little torpedo level Not the best line. Now, I found out the screw heads are the same size as a finder. So, I just pulled the bit out of this and was able to use it to attach the screw.
Maybe I should have just done that to begin with. Yeah, I'm going to think a socket would have been way better for this. Now to see what it looks like sitting in the driver's seat. Yeah, I'm not in love with how close it is to your knee right there, but not a whole lot of choice. But it'll work and for now that's as far as I can go until I get that cable so as soon as we get the cable we'll come back and finish this up hey hey the mailman just came I got my cable so at, th at this point it should be just a matter of matter of plug and play but unfortunately as I understand, I'm not gonna be able to do too much right away. Because you need to have a trailer plugged in, but I've got a possibility that might work. Now, I looked on YouTube and found out there's a cable it's tucked up and underneath there. That, that just snaps into. And then. Again, part of the reason why I like that. That that just popped right off. That just popped right in. And yes, I have a cable tie that's going to get put in there soon. And we have power to it. I was just checking to see if that was in there too.
Now it says to set this at six and check the brakes. But nothing else works until you get a trailer to it. You see, I don't know if I like this for one thing. If that's on, there's a drain on the battery. I don't know how much of a drain, hopefully not too much. But I do have a possible solution to the no trailer issue. One of the other things I got was a tester. So I'm going to plug this in and see if it, no, I, I, I'm, I'm fast, but I know I'm not going to be able to get back and see if it uh, lights, which I do need to do, and I'll have to ask Cindy out here for that. But I'm hoping that it may, cons it may recognize this as a trailer <laughs> that's all you do and in one button I'll tell you if it does or doesn't no yeah but it is not recognizing that as a trailer so I don't know if that tester is going to work until it's there or not. Because I don't know if it'll put anything out if there's not a trailer there. But hopefully that corrected everything, that did everything, and it works. And I won't know until I actually get the trailer hooked up.